Hey mathematicians, welcome to another episode with Mr. Murphy. And today, we're going to learn how to count combinations of pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters using our knowledge of skip counting and grouping like coins. Before we get started, let's talk about coin value very quickly. Remember, a penny is worth one cent. Cent is used when we're talking about coins. A nickel is worth five cents. A dime is worth 10 cents, and a quarter is worth 25 cents. Now last time I saw you, we learned how to count like groups of coins, such as if we had all pennies or all nickels. Now we're gonna take a look at what do we do when we have a combination of different coins. The first thing that we're gonna do are figure out what coins we have and group like coins together. I have nickels and I have pennies. I'm going to group my largest denomination, or largest value first, followed by my second value, which are the pennies. Now that I have them grouped, I can count them using skip counting and their value. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Nickels are worth five cents a piece, so I have five ten cents worth of nickels. Pennies are worth one cent a piece, so once I get to ten cents, I'm going to add one cent, which is 11 cents, and one more cent, which is 12 cents. Let's take a look at another example. Now, in this example, I have three different types of coins. I have dimes, nickels, and pennies. I'm going to start with my largest value first, which are dimes, and I'm going to group those together. Those are each worth 10 cents. Next are my nickels. That is worth five cents. And my pennies, which are each worth one cent. Let's take a look at what I do when I skip count these together. I'm going to start with my largest value, which are my dimes. Ten cents, twenty cents. I'm then going to add my nickel to that, which are five cents a piece, which will give me twenty-five cents. Lastly, I'm going to add my smallest value, my pennies, which are worth one cent apiece. 26 cents, 27 cents. I have a total of 27 cents. Let's look at another example. In this example, I have pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. I'm going to start with my largest value, and I'm going to group those together, which are my quarters. Those are worth 25 cents a piece, followed by my next largest value, which are dimes. Those are worth 10 cents a piece, followed by my next largest value, which are nickels, five cents a piece, and finally my pennies at one cent a piece. Let's take a look at when I skip count these together. Starting with my quarters, one quarter, 25 cents, two quarters, I'm at 50 cents. Now I add my dimes to that, each worth 10 cents a piece. 60 cents, 70 cents. Now my nickels, which are worth 5 cents a piece. Up to 75 cents. Now my pennies, 76 cents and 77 cents. I have a total of 77 cents altogether. Now, there is another way that we can do this too. Sometimes it's helpful to use friendly numbers when counting coins of different values. So let's take a look at what I mean by that. Now, these are all the coins that I have. A quarter, a nickel, three dimes, and three pennies. Now, if I find it tricky to count these together, I do know if I put 25 cents and five cents together, I reach 30 cents. From there, I can count by tens for my dimes. 40 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents, and lastly, my pennies are each worth one apiece. 61, 62, and 63. In this method, I didn't entirely group them together, but I used friendly numbers to get to 30 cents and then was able to count by tens after that. Okay guys, today, we learned how to count combinations of pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters using our knowledge of skip counting and grouping like coins. 
I want you guys to go out there and try it. Do your very best. I know you're going to do great.